name is Larry Coots. I'm the president of North American Drilling Corporation. And we're out here today on the North American Drilling Mine of Well Number One in Tom Green County, Texas. Today's May 25th. It's a little bit after noon. And uh, we're down drilling uh, about 2,000 feet right now, going to 5,000 feet total depth. And we're taking samples right now at every 20 feet. And about 3,000 feet, we'll start about 10, uh, 10 foot for every sample. We've got a mud logger over there uh, working for us hard and uh, watching the samples very carefully. And our geologist is out here as well. Uh, we have several zones we'll be going through. One of the main zones is at 3,400 feet. We've got 4,300 feet, 46, 48, 4,900 feet. And then there's some other zones in between there, but uh, we've got quite a bit to look at and we'll be watching it very carefully. All drilling reports, permits, and so forth, that'll go out uh, via email and hard mail. And uh, also it'll be on the website. So if you have any questions or need anything, uh, feel free to give us a holler. And I just wanted to shoot a little video today and kind of explain about what we do out here and what's involved in the drilling process. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, congratulations, we're out here drilling. This is the first of three wells. If you need anything, like I said, just give us a holler. But welcome to the North American Drilling Bynum Well Number One in Tom Green County, Texas. Thank you. This here is the draw works. This part of the machinery right here is called the draw works. And this is like a giant winch that basically via this cable is supporting the weight of the drill string. This is a, a turntable right here that's going round and round. It's called the turntable. That's the Kelly bushing. And uh, in a minute, you'll see the Kelly here in a minute. This is the traveling block, this big yellow. That's the traveling block, right there. Supports the weight of the drill string. And the swivel. We're about to make a connection. Drilling fluid is pumped by the mud pump, which we'll see in a minute, but the drilling fluid comes up this pipe here, this yellow pipe, comes down this black pipe, black hose, comes down the black hose, down the black hose, and down the center of the uh, Kelly, and down through the center of the drill string. And the drilling fluid helps to uh, wash all the cuttings out, coats the inside of the well bore to control it, keep it from caving in, and it lubricates and cools the bit. Right there, that, that's called a tong. There's a tong, that red, that's called a tong, and there's a tong over here that they use to break apart the pipe. We're about to make a connection here. 
It'll use those tongs to open up the pipe, break apart the pipe. piece of pipe sitting there is going to be used next. It's sitting and waiting in the rat hole. That gentleman there has got the uh, slips in his hands. It's called the, it's called the slips. He's going to drop those in the hole. It's like a wedge that holds the, that holds the pipe in place while they, make the, while they break apart and make the connection. He's using the tongs now. Use the tongs to tighten it up. Drawworks is powered by a diesel engine back behind. They also use it to throw that chain and tighten up the, use a chain as well to tighten up the pipe. That's a good way to lose your finger in that chain right there. They made the connection. Now we're going to lower it back in the hole and get back to drilling. Each, uh, each piece of pipe is 30, 30 feet long. Three pieces of pipe make a, what they call a stand. Kelly Bushing back in the turntable and back to drilling. Now they're gonna lift this piece of pipe up here. They're gonna lift it up and they're gonna put it back in the rat hole for, for next time, it'll be the next piece. That is called making a connection. When we have to do a, sometimes they have to do a trip, a full trip is when we pull the pipe all the way out of the hole and they'll pull it out and, uh, into stands, what they call stands. Each stand is uh, three pieces of pipe and they'll stand it up in the, in the derrick here and those pieces up, those stands will, will go in those fingerboards there and they rack it up. And that's when we do a bit. When we do a bit trip to change the bit, they'll have to make a trip out of it, but we're not there yet. Now we're putting that piece of pipe back in the hole. Mudlogger's trailer. He 
He's taking samples over there. We'll go see that in a second. Oh, this is called the dog house. This place where they have their, keep their lockers and tools and stuff. It's called the dog house. the brake controls for the draw works. That's the brake handle right there. This is basically a giant winch that's holding everything, the weight of the drill string. Those are the mud pumps. There's two mud pumps. This pumps the drilling fluid down, down the center of the drill string. These are the mud tanks. This is where the mud is mixed, held in these tanks. And then it goes to the mud pump. And then it goes up that hose. It goes up the through there, through the center of the Kelly. Then it comes out, flushes out here with all the cuttings and the fluid, and goes into the, into the pits. And all the uh, shavings, all the cuttings go into the pits, and they reuse the water. The water gets pumped back into the tanks. Tally. All the uh, cuttings and stuff come out here. Once we mud up, once we mud up, then this go through. All the cuttings will come through this shale shaker right here. It's not running right now because we're not mudded up, but it'll come through here, and all the cuttings will be separated. Come out through here. All the bigger pieces will fall out, and all the smaller pieces will smaller go back down here. The fluid will go back down here to be reused. These are normally these are all churning, and the, when the mud is being mixed, but they're not in use right now. Um, by the way, there's there's nothing toxic at all in the water. Um, it's just the drilling fluid is just a mixture of different chemicals. Uh, one of them is a uh, like crushed uh, bentonite. And uh, we actually, when we're done with the with the mud, we'll farm it back into the land. It's called land farming, and they'll di use discs uh, disc it back into the land, and it'll help. Uh, it's like a fertilizer. It, grows grass actually. Now, if we were using oil based mud or something like that, that we would uh, have to contain it in steel tanks but there's nothing hazardous about the drilling fluid that we're using today. There's one of the mud pumps there backup mud pump. Mud program is one of the most important things on the drilling rig. Like I said, it, it helps to cool the bit and flush up the cuttings, condition the hole. Uh, conditioning the hole involves uh, 
adding a, a mud layer of mud cake to the inner walls of the hole, keep it from collapsing. It helps to lubricate the bit and flush out the cuttings and all that. So there's a lot to it. And this is where they, once they mud up, they'll start mixing the mud. It, it's like a powder. You can see some of it here. It's kind of a white powder. Looks like cement, but it's not. And that's where they mix it up there. It's different, different stuff for to add more mud weight. The mud engineer is going to. There's actually a guy on here that's called the mud engineer who measures the mud weight, the viscosity, and uh, you know if we encounter more pressure then it's going to add he wants to we want a heavier mud more mud weight it's a very important piece of it and that's basically it once we start going through some zones um, the, the mud logger will be logging all of that taking samples and uh, checking it all out for any signs of hydrocarbons. They do this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Non-stop till we're done. Looks like he's gonna start mixing some up right now. Thank you for participating with us. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and ask. We'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. We'll be watching everything very closely, our geologists will. And uh, keep your fingers crossed, hopefully we'll see some good signs. We should know here in a few days.